Hey, Concrete fans. Uh, thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about something that I hear a lot of people talk about. And there are not... I um, just want to give a straight definitive answer to the idea of concrete drying versus concrete curing. Uh, I hear the term concrete drying being used in place of concrete curing. And I think it's very important to make the distinction between curing and drying. Drying is something that you don't want your concrete to do. You don't want your concrete to dry it out. Uh, that water is a really important part of your concrete mix. And you actually, the water is consumed through a, a chemical reaction in curing. So when you add water to concrete, it's actually being used up through a process called hydration. Uh, and hydration is the act of your materials within your cement um, combining with water molecules to form new materials that then crystallize. And that's what your, that's what your concrete is. And, it, and it's how the whole thing, the whole thing works off this process of curing. Uh, curing through hydration, uh, which is a chemical process. I'm sure anyone that's worked with concrete a little bit, one of the more interesting things about it is that the chemical process is an exothermic reaction, meaning that it heats up, it, it outputs heat as part of the reaction to cure. Uh, so yeah, don't let your concrete dry out and also be very careful with the water that you mix in. So we, we suggest mixing in um, 100 milliliters of water for every kilogram of gray matter. Um, because we want to mix in almost the, the perfect amount. Now there is a little bit of room for flexibility in there. And some of this we have to do by feel because the cement, the concrete itself is very susceptible to uh, environmental factors. So concrete can be, can be holding water, even as a dry mix, there can be a certain amount of water just already kind of in there. So it may need more or less water depending seasonally uh, what your ambient humidity, what the ambient humidity is in your environment will determine roughly how much water we put in here. But, but we've got a pretty good idea uh, that it's around 100 milliliters, give or take uh, per kilo, give or take pigment, give or take uh, different maybe fibers or other things that you have in here, aggregates. And then we rely on something that in the concrete industry is known as slump. For us, it's more of a feel because we're not using a slump cone to measure feel, but it is so, so important. Let me show you something interesting about gray matter. Here's a, an object that I made out of gray matter, sculpture piece that's been cast, but listen to this. Hear that? This thing is super hard, super thin, super hard. And that's because it's had proper hydration. It's gotten very strong. Um, I've left it in the mold a little extra long uh, to have that happen. You know, with gray matter, you can demold as quickly as 24 hours. Uh, even like if you're really pushing it, um, you know, let's say six hours. That's not always uh, the best thing to do. Leaving something in the mold longer lets it hydrate uh, fuller. As you expose it to air, your concrete begins to lose moisture through the process of drying, not through curing. The curing process um, that you'll see with gray matter is um, something somewhat akin, because we're using a hybrid concrete, you have a portion of the concrete that hits a high early strength. So it cures very, very quickly, gives our mix stability, but we still want water to be present. Even if we were to demold, it's nice to you know, wrap something up in plastic, have a wet rag in there with it, spray it with a bit of water, keep it hydrated, or leave it in the mold, cover the mold, keep it hydrated. Because there's other components in that concrete that are not a high early curing thing that are still doing their thing. They're, they're hydrating, they're making, they're making new uh, chemicals and they're crystallizing and doing all that stuff. 
Typically with concrete, you'll see a concrete hit a maximum cure strength in about 28 days. Um, that is the same for gray matter. We hit our maximum cure strength in about 28 days, but concrete is continually curing all the time. Concrete's doing its thing, curing, 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 if it's in the presence of water. Uh, without water in a super dry environment, concrete, it's gonna stall out on curing. Water is a very, very important part of the whole thing. So use your sriracha water, mix it in your middle cup, measure your concrete properly, make a beautifully super cured extra hard object for gray matter. Done. Easy. If you have any questions about curing versus drying or just more on hydration and the nuances of concrete, I would uh, love to talk to you about it. So leave a message in the comments, which way? Below. And we can chat. That's all for now. Have fun with concrete. Uh, I'll talk to you soon.